teach. So if you don't know, it's Amy if you're new here. And today we have a very exciting video because we are packing for Rome. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do kind of planning my outfits for Rome and then a separate packing video if I'm just gonna combine it all into one. But essentially we're going to be sorting out my outfits, potentially packing it all ready for Rome. So I go to Rome on the 21st. I don't know if this will be up by then or if you would have seen this a little bit early, I'm not sure. But ultimately we need to start packing. Um, I am packing quite a bit early. This is currently the Tuesday before we go. I believe Wednesday before we go. You know, I don't even know what day it is. Basically, it's before we're going. Um, the week off, like the week before we go, I'm really, really busy. So I wanted to get my outfits kind of sorted, start to pack. I need to write a list of things I need to take. Um, so we're going to Rome for three days. Um, and we're going to take more outfits than I need, probably in case I want to change in the evenings. Um, we are also going into the Vatican, so I need to be um, careful of what I choose for that, just because you need to kind of have parts of your body covered but without further ado let's start planning outfits so i did actually before i started filming this video have a kind of a plan on my wearing app if you guys don't know what that is it's my digital wardrobe um and i've started pack them um, sort of sorting out outfits on there um so i will kind of insert them here of the ideas i'm thinking my outfit inspiration is just kind of like long floaty dresses i'm feeling like neutrals i like to take kind of a whole neutral wardrobe on holiday with me um if i'm going to like a city because i feel like it's quite nice to kind of be able to interchange all my accessories um and kind of jackets and stuff because they should all work with each other so these are the outfits i'm kind of thinking also, a bit awkward, we have kind of no idea what the weather's going to be like. The weather forecast at the moment, kind of as far as we can go, is kind of mid to early 20s and it is saying sunny. Um, so who knows if that's actually going to be what it's like. I know when I've been to Rome before, it rained quite a lot. So I need to bear that in mind and maybe take um, some waterproof shoes as well as just my normal trainers. Um, but we're going to kind of plan this all as I go. So let's start putting some outfits together i think i'm going to pile them all up um in their own outfits with their accessories and everything first and then potentially try them on um but yeah i'll give you a rundown as i said i'm thinking like kind of all neutrals for this holiday as i just like that when i'm going away um so i'm thinking these I'm thinking like linen -y dresses. So I have been kind of keeping an eye out um, as I've been shopping recently. This one was one from the boot sale. I haven't worn this yet. I must have hauled it at some point. Uh, I believe this was £10 from a boot sale, but it is new with tags and it is a warehouse dress and they're quite expensive. Um, this is a really super puff sleeve linen dress. Um, I'm really hoping there's going to be an iron at the Airbnb we're staying in because everything I'm taking really crinkles. Um, but yes, I think this is really gorgeous. I'm thinking again, very neutral accessories. For my traveling outfit, I'm thinking I'm going to take this loungewear set. This was from Sense Billericay and it's just this kind of matching trouser and um jumpery top set i'm thinking i'm gonna wear this on the plane um probably with my jordans which i actually get out now i do need to get these clean before i go whenever i wear these i get them you know the first like, year or so i had them i kept them so clean and i can't even remember where the last place i went to get these really dirty was but i went somewhere and oh my gosh it yeah it ruined them so i'm gonna take these probably wear them on the plane with this which is like a little loungewear set and i'm thinking i'll probably take my black all saints denim jacket you would have seen that in a haul probably gone up just before this one um i'll probably take that because i thought like that will go with lots of things and although i've got so many leather jackets i really want to not take leather there's something about leather that will really grunge up any of these outfits and i want to keep them quite no soft and floaty but i don't think i'm gonna need a jacket while i'm there it's just the travel there and back um but yes i'm thinking i'm gonna travel in this because it's super comfortable super lightweight um i'll probably wear a vest top underneath it so i can kind of take off the top if i get too hot um layering is key when you're traveling so i'm gonna wear this on the plane then we're gonna have to go over to my wardrobe to grab out some of my dresses so i'm going to take this one i've actually not worn this before let me get it out it's a bit tangled um, so this dress I've not worn before. Um, I got it from Thriftify. Um, because basically when I did the Thriftify competition, one of my parcels didn't actually arrive. Um, Hermes lost it. Classic Hermes. Um, so I still had a little bit left on my voucher because I kind of just reimbursed my voucher. Um, so I picked up this dress. Now this is absolutely gorgeous. I do worry it makes me look a bit like I'm going to do the purge. Um, but it's basically just, like gorgeous, like wrapped. Um, kind of a bit like the Broadview in Glace 
is that what it's called fabric i don't know it's really cute um it's like maxi dress though so i thought this would be quite a good one i can layer a vest up underneath this just because it's a little bit low cut um and i'd also have to wear shorts underneath it because the wrap sometimes comes unwrapped a little bit um so i'm gonna have to work out what i'm gonna wear underneath that i was thinking i might buy um kind of like a nude unitard or a white unitard to go underneath it haven't had a chance to do that yet um so i might have to look and see if i can find one quickly on vintage or something um another dress i'm definitely taking is this one from my recent shelter haul this was gifted by the charity shop gift card um this is really cute it's a zara dress um it isn't as small but it fits me perfectly um so to go with this i am going to take a belt because if you've seen that haul you'll know that it needs a belt um i know this isn't te technically like neutral but i feel like the sage green is enough of a neutral that is allowed in my color palette so I'm going to put that on the bed with the matching belt. So I am also thinking of taking this dress. Now, this is a shorter dress. Again, I'd wear shorts underneath it. Um, but I think it's just really cute. I might also take some nude tights so I can layer nude tights under any of these. If any of them, like if it's a bit cold or whatever. But I feel like some tights underneath this will make me feel a little bit more secure. Just if it is a shorter dress. But if it is actually really hot, it's really awkward because you kind of have no idea. Like the weather's saying 24, 25. But not too long ago, it was saying 24, 25 here, and I wouldn't be in a summer dress. So uh, who knows? Obviously, we are in Italy, so it's going to be a little bit warmer. But I'm thinking I will take this as it's another nice neutral option. Um, and definitely need to buy some tights to go under all these outfits. I'm thinking I'm just going to get some nude, like, flesh colour tights um, that will go with under all of these. Um, as they're all a neutral colour palette, they can all take it. I also, underneath this Zara dress, I definitely need to pair something underneath it because in some lights it's fine, in other lights it is really see-through and um, where the uh, knit is just not super tight. Um, so I need something to go under that as well. So I feel like we've got the good basics. I think I also am gonna take a couple of trouser and top options just in case I do wanna wear some trousers. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this brown bodysuit again from Sense. It's originally Stradivarius. Um, it's super high neck. So actually I could wear this when we go to the Vatican um, as it is really high neck. As long as I've got a jacket to cover my shoulders. Um, so I think I'm going to take this along with my linen trousers. Let me go and grab that now. And I also I'm doing the, taking these trousers. Um, they're just like my wide leg brown trousers um so i am debating if i have enough room i might take these and just kind of like my satin shirt as it's kind of a nice everyday kind of just chuck on outfit so i might actually just take this anyway because this could go over that brown bodysuit um this is where i start overpacking because i've already planned all these outfits and i've already chucked a couple more things in the pile but i just think it's better to have more um I don't think I said, um, unlike my trip to Barcelona, which you saw me pack for, I actually have a little roll-on suitcase as well as a rucksack, um, which is such a luxury now because whenever I travel like with my friends or by myself, I always just get hand luggage because I'm cheap and don't want to pay for luggage. Um, but I do actually have a suitcase, so I reckon I can fit all of these in no problem because i'm used to having to try and stuff things in a rucksack so let's grab some trousers to go with that bodysuit and i feel like we've got a good basic of all kind of outfits i then need to work out shoes jewelry kind of accessories and um, all of which i probably will pack nearer the time just because i probably will be wearing them up to that time but who knows i say that and i'll end up just packing it all because i like to be organized so i've just found my green cycling shorts that'd be perfect actually to go underneath that um so that's perfect because i've got something to go underneath that now and then here are my linen trousers that I'll pair potentially with this brown bodysuit. I feel like this is just a nice kind of neutral outfit if I do want to wear trousers instead. And then I can chuck this over the top if I want kind of an extra layer. Plus I can kind of go on top of, um, I say I can go on top of many of these things. I probably wouldn't wear it on top of things, but it can go on top of that if I need something around my shoulders. Um, I'm going to grab some chub rub shorts which i am just going to take one pair and rewear them don't judge me but i just feel like that will save space um so i'll pop them on top of there because i can wear that underneath that i feel like i just need to take a white bra and that will go underneath everything fine um and that saves me having to pack multiple in fact i'll probably go in my white bra and then i know that i'll go with everything so the bags i think i'm definitely going to take this one it is one of them bags though is that practical and it doesn't have an over body strap but i just do think it's really cute it doesn't even go on my shoulder actually maybe i shouldn't take this i'm gonna leave it here 
and we can imagine but i do think i want to take my wicker bag um just because i think that'll look really cute with a lot of these outfits but i need to just check what i actually can fit in it because if i can't fit my portable charger and my phone in i don't really feel like there's too much point taking it so here is the wicker bag i just think this looks so cute with all of these outfits and um, i also have brought out my michael Kors bum bag as well because i feel like that could go on any of these um and still look quite cute maybe like more of these two could work with that um there's some bag selections to think about um and then i'm trying to think what else i need what do i need pajamas i need pajamas you guys are really just helping me with the packing process it's not going to be the most entertaining video but you know it's, it's, it's what needs to happen so i think for pajamas i'm just going to take the pajamas i got from havens the other day again you would have seen this in the haul that went up before this just because these are really cute and nice pajamas that i can kind of wear around the airbnb when we're having breakfast and things and feel absolutely fine so i'll definitely take them the earrings i think i'm gonna take these these are like old fast fashion earrings but i think they're really cute and we'll kind of go with all of this kind of wickery vibe but i also am going to take these earrings which i'm currently wearing which i'll take off to show you um just my british heart foundation pearl earrings i wear these literally all the time um as they go with everything so i definitely think i'll be taking these as well i also am going to take these little disney earrings as well and then to pack all of my jewelry i'm just going to pop them in one of these little organza bags and we'll just put them in one of the handbags and also to kind of save room if i'm taking this many handbags what i'll do is i'll pack clothes underwear socks tights everything in the bags and then put them into my case i'm also going to take these little earrings these were gifted from craft corner i love kind of the brown kind of marbling that goes through these and i thought these would look really cute with all the outfits as well so we've got the linen dress, some chapel shorts, the white max dress, which I need to put a vest up with. It's just in the wash at the moment. We've got the green Zara dress, the white belt, the green cycling shorts to go underneath. And then I'll probably pack a vest top to underneath that as well, I think. We've got my travelling outfit and the shoes. I'll probably be wearing the whole time. These do need to go in the wash before. We've got the brown scent bodysuit with some linen trousers from Havens and a satin shirt from St Luke's Hospice. We've then got the scents bag. I've put the Michael Kors bag and my bra inside that. And then we've got the wicker bag, which is old fast fashion stuff with all my underwear um, that I'll need. And also my jewellery. We've then got pyjamas, which I got from Havens. We've got the linen shorter dress, which is again from Havens. Both of them I got with my charity shop gift card. Um, And yes, I feel like that is a good start. Um, I've also just chucked my hairbrush and my portable charger on there. I need to basically get down my case next, I think, and also get down the bag that I'll be taking on the plane with me as my hand luggage. So I can start putting in things like my portable charger, my book, things I'm going to need on the plane. But I feel like overall we're off to a good start. So it is a couple of days later. Um, I actually went into volunteering today and I picked up some tights. For those of you who don't know, a lot of the charity shops will have kind of a new goods section and it is exactly what it sounds. We get sent in new items. I say we because I work in a charity shop. We get sent in new items to sell. And one of the things we have at the shop, well, I've just realized I've picked up a small which will not fit me. So I have to change it around. But anyway, I picked up some packets of nude tights. I thought these would be handy just to go under any of the outfits if I want a little bit more warmth. In fact, I probably shouldn't have given this small to my sister. Um, but I got two larges, got one small back. And it doesn't matter. These would be perfect for holiday just to go under any of these dresses. And on that note, I thought to end the video, I will try on one of the outfits for you so you can see what it's like. Um, and if you want to see the other outfits, I don't know if I'm going to vlog but if not, there'll be reels, there'll be Instagram photos. So definitely go and check them out. But as I said, I'm going to try on one outfit just to show you. Then I'm going to get packing this all in my case and then I'm ready. Here is this gorgeous thrift fight dress on. As I said, I will wear probably some shorts underneath this and will be wearing white knickers instead of black. But oh my gosh, I just think this is so, so pretty. I actually have on just like a little bralette and actually this is perfect where it kind of shows a little bit this is fine so i'm definitely going to take this as well and i probably will wear a normal bra as well just like extra support but then this looks really cute underneath the dress and i think this is so pretty i thought this is perfect for kind of wandering around it's super comfortable in fact it kind of feels like i'm wearing nothing um it's also super lightweight which is great if it's gonna be a bit cold and then if i do want a jacket i can just throw this one kind of over my shoulders and then that looks fine as like a little 
jacket but i am gonna end the video here as i said there may be vlogs there will definitely be reels so just keep an eye out on instagram on youtube um for any updates and as soon as i get back from rome it's actually my birthday i've got a shoot with bernardo's i might film i've got so much exciting things coming up um just feeling really lucky to have all these opportunities and feeling really lucky to be able to travel so i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment what outfit you're excited for comment if you've got any rome recommendations because we'll definitely be happy to take any of them on and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye